Hey guys, I'm Hacker Magnus, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And so the last episode of Minecraft tutorials, um, yeah, the advanced lesson tutorial, it turned out pretty well. So I decided to make another one. Um, you know, you guys liked it, so um, yeah. Um, the main subject of the episode is adders and subtractors but before you watch the video make sure that you know how to count in binary this is very important you need to make sure how to um how to count in binary um i'll probably link a wikipedia page on how to count in binary in the description so please just you need to know how to watch count in binary well um the what I like to show you um, in the upcoming episodes of redstone tutorials, we will be using binary. So basically, um, a binary. You know, um, as you should know, if you know how to count in binary, binary looks something like this. You know, and you know one binary number is a bit it's a binary bit and it can either be zero or one that's a, it's called a bit so zero or one in redstone um if there, if it's off that means zero and if it's on that means one so that's zero and that's one so Okay, so you may have heard of stuff like 4 bit, 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit, 64 bit. Um, that's basically binary, and it's the number of binary numbers. Um, so this would be an 8 bit number because it's 8 bits see so basically you might be thinking then what is an 8-bit computer well let's mix it. one two three four five six seven and eight and this is an 8-bit um, it's called a, yeah, it's called a data bus. As you can see, there are eight wires, and they can all contain bits, either zero or one. And a data bus is basically it's a group of wires. Um, so yeah, uh, not just a data bus. It's just it's simply called a bus. A bus is a group of wires so an 8-bit computer is something that has an 8-bit data bus um, a data bus is something I will probably teach you about later um, but now we are simply okay so yeah so I taught you about that stuff um, now I'm gonna teach you how to make adders um, real adders from redstone that actually work and add numbers so okay um to start with you make three blocks like this um the block can be whatever it can be sand it can be dirt whatever some block okay and the one on the left you do one two and one two the one on the right should be one two one and this is what you should have and the one on the left I mean yeah the one on the right you do over here and here and here and this is what you should have right now so and then you take some redstone and connect these together so 
She kind of look like an R. If you think about it. Um. Well, okay. So now we're gonna add some torches. So one on the left, you do two torches over here, and the one on the right, you do two torches. And on the front, you do a torch here and here. Okay, so next we are going to uh, the one on the left. You do torch and redstone. Torch and redstone. Torch and redstone. Redstone, 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 torch. So this is what it should look like. Um, so yeah um next um i'm going to show you yeah um yeah, um continue um the three redstone over here you want to do blocks on top of it and a block over here and you should have this l shape so yeah um on the front of the actor you do a torch over here on the l and a torch on the bend of the L. And you do a torch on both sides over here. Right, and you p and then um, you do a redstone over here. So this is what, yeah, yeah this is your L. Um, there's a torch here, torch here, torch on both sides, and redstone. So next, you put a block yeah, see this side over here. Um, you put a block on top of this torch, and a block on top of this torch, and you put a redstone between. Right, and now you just put a block. Um, yeah, when uh, this redstone wire over here, you put a block on top of this torch, a block on top of this torch. And this is what you have now. And over here, you do a block that's too high. Oops, yeah, too high like this. And you put a redstone on top of it. And you put a block over here. And this is your adder. So this is a full adder. Um, actually, on the front here, you connect these two torches together. And this is the sum. So Okay, so the inputs are there are three inputs over here, and there are two outputs. There are the sum and carry on. All right. Um. So now you have a full adder. Um. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So these inputs are input A input B and like I said the front is the sum and over here you have carry in and over here you have carry out so basically to add um, you do input A and input B and you, so input A plus input B is the sum so you might be thinking what car carry out and carry in has to do with anything well i'm going to show you um i'm going to make another adder um right here so i'm just going to make it quickly three blocks over here over here okay torch here I pretty much memorize this because I'm always making stuff. <laughs> so I always remember how to make an adder. Um. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna connect these adders together and make them work as one. So. Yeah. 
almost done here. There. Alright, now I have two adders. And. Alright, so. One adder is one bit. Um, what I showed you over here, how to make um, this is uh, this is a one bit adder, and after I connect these two together, I have a two bit adder that can handle bigger numbers, two bit numbers. So to connect them together, remember an adder has a carry in and a carry out. Um, to connect them, the carry out for this adder is the carry in for the next one. So you connect them together like this. It's pretty simple. So now you have a two bit adder. Um, yeah, it's really simple. Um, so as you can see, you can have two bit numbers because you, you see there are two wires um, which are the output. Um, like how many bits it is does not matter what it doesn't matter what the input is it remembers it, it matters what the output is um, that controls how many bits it is so okay remember each adder has an input A and input B input A input B so so if you want to add numbers um, it actually turns like this so input A maybe if you want input A to be one zero then it will be one zero and if you want input B to be one to be zero one it will be zero one so and that gives me one one which is correct because one zero plus zero one is one one because two plus one is three so and just to show you how the I'm just gonna show you how the carry works actually um, as you can see, you have a carry out over here, and if you do one zero plus one zero, then this carry out is actually the third number. So one zero plus one zero is one zero zero. Um, I think that's right. Is it? Yeah, it is right. So, yeah. Um. Okay, um, now you should know how an adder works. So, now I'm going to show you how to make a subtractor. And if you made an adder, you prop. It's pretty simple to make a subtractor, actually. I can actually turn this into a subtractor. And it's pretty simple to do it. Well, first, you need to power the carry in. The carry in needs to be 1. And next, um, remember in episode 1 of Advanced Redstone Tutorials, I showed you how to make an inverter. Well, um, input B should be inverted. You need you make a NOT gate and invert the B input on both of the adders. So, yeah, um, you simply input, um, no, you simply invert the B input and set the carry in to 1, and this is a subtractor. Like, this is unbelievable, this is unbelievably simple. Um, so, this thing can subtract. I'm even gonna show you, um, Right, um, so, in, so, it's input A minus input B, 
so input P should be the smaller number um, input A is maybe one zero let's do one zero or two minus zero one or one so two minus one is one so it actually works um, that's pretty cool um, so basically I have shown you how to successfully make an adder and a subtractor so have fun with it and remember to comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching